so blessings. My name is Helen Dimitri and today I'm going to talk about spiritual snobbery. Now what do I mean by spiritual snobbery? Well basically um, I've come across people that um, that are in the, the, on the spiritual path who discuss with me about what they do spiritually and when I explain well you know this is what I believe in and this is what I do and they say oh no I'm not going to do that you know, um, I would never do the tarot cards because it's dealing with the devil. Yet they'll turn around and do the oracle, do the angel oracle cards. The thing what they're not understanding is, when you're doing the angel oracle cards, you are still opening a door. You are opening a portal. You yourself are a portal. As soon as you decide that you want to divine, you are opening yourself to the elements. And it could be anything. Yes, we protect ourselves with the Archangel Michael, with incense or with salt or, or the pink bubble or the white bubble or whatever, the box or whatever you use for protection. But when you are dealing those cards, angel cards, fairy cards, you are opening up a portal to allow your guides to come through, to allow your angels to come through and they are relaying messages to you. So. There's no point in saying to somebody, oh no, I don't believe in that because um, I don't want to have anything to do, that's witchcraft, or that's that, or that's something to do with the devil. I, I, I'm, I'm happy and safe doing the angel cards, speaking with the angels, but you know what? You are opening, you're doing the same thing. There is no difference. And I have many people say to me, I just do the angel oracle cards because... It says in the Bible, don't go to mediums, um, don't do any other, you know, tarot is of the devil, and it's, um, it says in the Bible, it's, no, no, I just do my angel cards. What do you think angel cards are? Do you think that just because they're angel cards, that you're not doing what the Bible says not to do? You're trying to find the future. You are divining, and that is what the Bible says not to do. And this is what I believe to be this, why is it snobbery? Because you get the people that say, well, I don't do that. I just do, I do the angel cards and I would never do anything like this. I mean, you know, I'm against, completely against the Ouija board. I don't do the Ouija board, never done the Ouija board. I'm never going to do the Ouija board. Many of you know my, my, um, my thoughts on that. If you do that, it's completely up to you. But I don't like it and I don't advise anyone to do it. But when I have people saying to me, well, you know, um, or if I ask people, okay, you want a reading, do you want the angel cards or the tarot? Oh, no, I don't want the tarot cards. I'm afraid of the tarot cards, but I'll go with the angel cards. Yes, okay, the angels are loving energies. They're divine energies. They are safer to work with than working with um, anything else. But as soon as you begin to, 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 to divine, when you begin to use your angel cards, you're opening a portal which, with which your um, spirit guides, you're working with your spirit guides. And when you go for a reading, it's the same thing. You are, are, are help, you're in this portal, you're in this circle where your guides are there, the guides of the reader are there, and whoever else, whatever else you're working with. You have to understand that everybody has got their own path. You know, it's no good when you don't understand what you're doing to try and be a snob in your spirituality and say that you know what you're doing is okay but what everyone else is doing is of the devil i have so many people i have met so many people that um they they they're always preaching about god every day jesus christianity i um, the angels doing angel cards and then you'll get either a, a snidey remark or a comment here and there saying to you, you know, um, I work with the angels, I follow Jesus, or I don't do that, that's that, and that's no good, and you shouldn't do this, and you shouldn't do that, I work with the angels, and I'm thinking to myself, you know, just stop, either you're a hypocrite, or you don't understand what you're doing, you don't understand that as soon as you pick up them cards, you are divining, it doesn't matter what cards they are, but you have to understand that you yourself are a, are a divination tool. Everybody is a tool. It is, not, it is not the cards themselves. It's not the cards that bring them. This is what I'm trying to explain 
to other people. The cards are a tool, they're an extension of you that we use in order to get information and guidance that we're not receiving either due to um, blocked chakras or um, your, your intuition has not been developed. So you use cards or a, or a pendulum for an example to receive messages from the angels, from your guides, whatever cards, whatever they are, that's the answers you're going to get from whoever you're doing them with. So basically, it's not the cards. You are the portal. You are the, 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 the vessel with which the answers are coming through. They're going through you and into the cards and they're showing you in the cards those answers. So those of you that watch my videos who don't comment and they watch them just to see what I'm up to, um, you know, to, to, to sort of, you know, add the bricks to your little wall of um, hate and um, sob snobbery. Know that what you're doing, your, your, your preachings about God and Jesus, you're doing angel cards, you're going against what the Bible says, the Bible that you believe in and follow so much. I mean, this is something that's happened a lot. It's not just with those people. I've seen it in um, another person made a video similar to this that, you know, this way is the only way. Yet I find that people that have been initiated into a certain coven or path or whatever believe that they're more, um, they're higher than somebody that hasn't. You know, again, spiritual snobbery. And I'm thinking to myself, everyone is supposed to be spiritual. They're supposed to accept everybody with what they do, uh, what their path is, what they believe in. Yet everybody always wants to feel more better than someone else. They always want to feel more special than somebody else. They always believe that their way is the right way and the holy way and the way that they're not going to get into trouble with the Creator when they pass away. But that's completely wrong. As soon as you pick up the angel cards, you are divining. You are opening a portal. So it doesn't matter what tools you use, you are opening up yourself to the elements and whoever you're reading for also. So next time when you believe that you're better than somebody else, just because you follow a certain path, think again. Because I've done many um, guided meditations when I was beginning from CDs from a well-known angel teacher, which I'm not going to say a name, but you all know her probably. Um, and I've had negative spirits come through. When I've been doing the meditations, I've seen negative spirits. Because, you know, maybe you're a person that doesn't see them, but I see both. I see the good spirits, the positive spirits, and I see the negative spirits. So don't think that you're completely safe that because it's with angels, as soon as you're doing this, you're opening yourself up. Yes, as I said before, dealing with angels is a lot safer than dealing with something else, you know, any other energies. Um, my, the majority of the, the, the entities, the beings that I work with are angels and saints and the divinities. Those are what I work with. But it doesn't mean you're not going to see something. It doesn't mean that you know, as soon as you do this, you're crossing over into the other side and you're beginning to see, um, you're beginning to see what is out there, what is not usually seen with the naked eye. Now, a lot of times I've had people that um, they are saying to me that I'm dealing with the devil and all these ludicrous, absolutely pathetic things that they say about me that you know, what I'm doing, you know, in their demented world. And they believe that um, this, I'm, I'm not going to say the name again, that there are many of them believe in this, you know, angel, well-known angel teacher, yet she teaches people about the goddesses, uh, the divinities. She teaches people, yes, about the angels, also about mediumship, seeing onto the other side, how to be more psychic. You are doing just as I am doing. You are doing the same as what I'm doing. Yet you don't know it because you're ignorant and you're uneducated. And you need to do your research. You need to find out what, it, what, what you are doing. And stop being a snob. Stop believing that your way is the only way and your way is the best way or the most divine way or the most angelic way. 
you know, you have to stop doing this to yourself because you're only hurting yourself and you're showing your ignorance. So thank you for watching. Have a fantastic day. Bye-bye.